signature by Her Her Hirsch Hirsch Paltarovich. Hirsch Paltarovich, Simcha's father, and he's also the rabbi of Novogratz. Wow, that is so cool. Now, Gwyneth Paltrow is on the final leg of her journey in New York City, looking into her grandfather Buster's father's lineage. She wants to uncover the truth behind the story that she comes from a line of prominent rabbis on the Paltrow side of the family. The only rabbi I know of is my great-great-grandfather, Simcha, or Simon Paltrovich, who emigrated from Eastern Europe. But given the family's stories I've heard, I wonder if he's the only rabbi in my lineage. I'm at the Eldridge Street Synagogue meeting with Professor Glenn Diner, who specializes in Eastern European Jewish history. Well, we have some extraordinary documents here. Okay. This is in Polish. Okay. And it, it says, Przyzyczeniu małżeństwo, a promise of marriage. Now, this is a betrothal between, can you read it at all? No. Simon. Okay. Shimon in Polish. Okay. Paltarowicz. My great great grandfather. Right. Okay. Okay. And he's marrying somebody by the name of Tsipa Levitinska. The ceremony is presided over by the rabbi of the Novogrud district. What's Novogrud? It's a small town, sort of in the northeast of Poland. Okay. And in 1862, we have a signature by. Her, 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 Hirsch Paltarowicz. Hirsch Paltarowicz, Simcha's father. And he's also the rabbi of Novogrod. Wow, that is so cool. So now this tells us that we have another rabbi in the family. Right. Now that I know my third great-grandfather, Svi Hirsch, was also a rabbi, it would seem that this particular myth is true. There are two additional pieces of information I think you'll find really interesting. Okay. Now I have here in my hands a memorial book. Okay. From the community of Nova Grud. Oh my gosh. The vast majority of these communities were destroyed during the Holocaust. Right. Nova Grud was no exception. Yet the survivors or those who had left before the Holocaust would get together after the war and they would write what is called a memorial book. Wow. And this is the memorial book that they came up with. And they mention Svi Hirsch. Really? Translation. Please. Translation. The rabbis of Novograd were famous for their learnedness and personal qualities. The rabbi Reb Hershela was a great holy man and master of Kabbalah. Once a great fire erupted outside the town, the fire approached the Jewish neighborhood. A great panic ensued. However, Rabbi Herschelow went out to the balcony of his house, waved his handkerchief towards the fire, and the fire was, was extinguished. Since then, they say, a fire that erupts in the town will not spread very much for the blessing of our Herschelow protects us. Wow. So that was my... That was Simcha's father. That was Simcha's Sfie father. Hirsch. Oh, my gosh. And um, he was a master of Kabbalah. Wow. A miracle worker. This is kind of blowing my mind. <laughs> because I study Kabbalah. You can just feel how his spirituality coming off the page. And this is somebody very, very special, very holy, wow. that you have in your family line. It's quite remarkable. Yeah. OK. Would you like to see more? Oh, gosh, yes. Like, there's more. It gets better. <laughs> now, the next thing I want to show you is a book called Keter Tzvi, The Crown of Tzvi. Okay. This is a book that Simon wrote. And guess who he named it after? His father. Tzvi Hirsch. Tzvi Hirsch. Right? His father. His father, okay. Right. Now, the reason why it's so interesting is there's a reflection on his father in here. And I'm going to give you the translation. Okay. Okay? Cool. For my lord and father, the genius of blessed memory, was always on call at his study house with legal discussions and cases that they brought before him. And they came from all the communities where people knew the reputation of my lord and father. And they sought Torah from his mouth. Oh, this is going to make me cry. It's so sweet. From his mouth. It's from the mouth of one of the angels of Lord of Hosts. Sweet. You have a long line of people loving their fathers in my family. Just 
incredible reverence for his father. That is amazing. It's funny because you, I mean, you, you hear, it's like echoes of your own relationships, you know, it's just, it's amazing to see so many parallels that keep coming together, you know, over, through all these different themes, it's just, that's very, that's amazing. There are a lot of people who I want to talk to about this. <laughs> I was amazed that Simcha, my great, great grandfather's father, was this rabbi of great importance. And it was amazing for me to see Simcha write about his father, you know, the way that I would speak about my father. And just the whole idea that, you know, there is this energy in your ancestry. It's, it's more than just facts and who was born where. Even we got to see through my great grandmother's side, you know, in a much darker way, this kind of depression being passed down. Um, but on, on the other side of the family, to see this amazing light coming through and this amazing, you know, quest for knowledge and, and spirituality and seeing, seeing both sides of the family in myself, you know, it's just amazing.